Hi everyone, welcome to Bombay Hair. Today's video is all about extensions for thin and fine hair. So hair extensions are such an amazing way to add volume and length to anyone who has thin hair. And did you know that this is the number one asked question about hair extensions on Google? And with me personally, I have thin hair, but I have a lot of it. So I do struggle with the same problems because I find I get a lot of breakage. But in the last year or so, I've really found that utilizing these tips has really helped to minimize the damage in my hair, especially because I do wear hair extensions almost every day. <laughs> so today I wanna help you navigate the process on finding the perfect extensions for your fine or thin hair. And the first part of this video is going to be some tips and tricks on how to choose the right set of extensions for your hair and then the last half of this video is going to be a tutorial and demonstration on how to clip extensions into fine and thin hair. So first off, with thin and fine hair, the biggest issues that can arise while purchasing a set of hair extensions are the following two things. A, sometimes the extensions can be way too heavy for the person's hair. What can happen is they can put too much stress on your natural hair and actually cause your hair to break, which is what we don't want to have happen. And the second biggest thing that can happen is the wefts can actually show through your hair quite prominently. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on what you can do to avoid these two things from happening. Now it's totally up to you what you wanna get. These are just recommendations as to what would be a really good suitable match for thinner hair. So first off, the most popular thing to do at the moment is to do tape-in extensions. What you do is you tape them into your natural hair and you can tape them up as far towards the scalp as you want. It can really help to add volume up here and length as well. And the other part about tape-ins that's so great is you can put in as many tape-ins as you want, or just put in a few tape-ins to add a little bit of length to your thinner hair. And they're so light that they don't pull down on your natural hair. Each weft of the tape-ins is only about this big. It's only about an inch wide, so you're only getting a little bit of hair pulling on your natural hair so it won't cause damage. And this is really great too if you're trying to grow out your hair, tape-ins are a really, really good solution. And the next thing is if you wanna buy clip-ins, this is my suggestion for the best match for you. Now, if you have very, very thin hair, I highly recommend going with the 125 gram Bombay Baby Hair Extensions. So it's not going to pull on your natural hair and won't break off your natural hair or anything like that. You're getting a little bit less hair in this pack, but it'll probably end up looking the most natural in thin or fine hair. Just keep in mind that if you have brittle hair, if your hair breaks easily, I would go with the lower gram set of hair extensions. Now, if you have thin and fine hair and your hair can totally handle a thicker set of extensions, this is a huge tip that I have for you on how to make sure the extensions aren't gonna weigh too heavy on your hair. When I received my Tamana hair extensions, these were 270. Grams. So what I did, I got my hairdresser to do a technique called feathering at the end of my extensions, which is a technique where you remove the bulkiness in the hair extensions. If it's too heavy for your hair, this technique would be really great. And that way, when you clip in the full set of extensions, there's not a lot of weight pulling down on your thin hair. So that's another strategy that you can use. So you can get the bigger sets of extensions, but it just removes some of the weight. So next up, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how I clip my extensions into my thinner hair. This strategy will help hide the clips and this is also going to help relieve some of the pulling on your natural hair so nothing breaks off. So on that note, let's get started, guys. So the first thing that I recommend is using a volumizing powder. What's so important about the volume is getting your natural hair to match the volume happening in your extensions. So this is a really important part of helping out anyone with thin hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some volumizing powder. And 
And what I'm doing is adding it in sections. So you can just take like small sections of your hair and add the powder to it, or you can just add it to the top, whatever you're comfortable with. So you see already how volumized my hair is, just adding that little bit of powder. Look at that. And what it does is it actually stays up on its own. <laughs> I look crazy, but it works really, really well. So next, what you want to do is back comb the top section of your hair right here. I'm going to show you whereabouts, right here. So just stick your comb in and section out that piece of hair. So what I'm going to do to back comb is take my comb and push the hair back like this. So just go underneath this section of hair and pull it down. I'll show you. Now I'm just gonna take the section just underneath and back comb that as well. You see that? So now we're adding volume back here so it matches the hair falling down here. And then I'm gonna do that on the side of my head as well. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. Now we're gonna be doing more of this in a moment when we clip in the hair extensions and I'll show you in just a second. But for now, that looks good because we just wanna kinda of do the top of the hair first because once the extensions are in, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to section out your hair. So I like to do this before and then I'll repeat some of the steps as I'm clipping in the extensions. So let's start clipping in the extensions. So we also have a how to clip in extensions hair tutorial on the Bombay hair channel and we have the how to clip extensions into short hair tutorial as well. So both of those are linked down below so you can follow along with those tutorials as well after watching this video. All right, so I'm just sectioning off my hair and I'm just going to leave the bottom bit here. And the bottom part is my first section of hair that I'm going to be working with. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder just on this bottom section of hair. And then I'm going to back comb. So now I'm gonna take a two piece of hair and clip that into the bottom. And I'm just gonna keep doing this process. Then I'm gonna pause and talk about the really important techniques to use as you're getting closer to the top of your head. So I'm just gonna do the bottom bit and I'll be right back. All right, so I have three rows of extensions in right now. And what I'm gonna do, I wanna show you how I hide my extensions in my thinner hair. I like to clip my extensions a little bit lower in my hair, so I won't clip them up here. Just so that you have a good chunk of hair up here to really hide those extensions. So I'm just gonna clip these down a little bit lower so I, I know that they're gonna be hidden. So what's great about the back combing is it's actually assisting your hair with really holding in the extensions well so that it doesn't slip out of your thin hair. Because I find having thin hair that my extensions will sometimes slip out a little bit more easily than people that have thicker hair. And you can just see the clip will go in. I'll show you. I'll even pull on it and show you. I'm pulling really hard right now and it's not moving. So that's what you want. With thinner hair, you want to make sure that you're back combing and using the volumizing powder, especially because that will just enhance your back combing even better. So I'm going to just go on to the other side. So you see how the hair blends and you can't see the clips. And then for thin hair, this is the biggest trick. So what I like to do is take the three clip extensions. Remember this part that we back combed? This is where I want to put in the triple piece right here. All right, so I'm gonna put this in. So we are concealing the wefts while adding volume and ensuring that that volume is going to stay up all day because we have that weft of hair holding this part up. All right, so there's my volume. Take me to the city. 
adding that little bit of volume helps everything look really balanced in the extensions. So next I'm just going to quickly curl my hair with my Ever Rose Gold Clamp Curling Wand and that will add some volume again and it will also help blend my natural hair into my extensions. So I'm just going to do that and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I just curled my hair. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this wand. I use this wand all the time and it just gives those like beautiful little like baby doll curls, you know what I mean? So this is the next step in adding that volume to match the top of the hair that we did earlier. So what I'm gonna do is take my Bombay hair brush and just brush through the ends of my hair and this is going to blend the extensions into my natural hair and create some additional volume on the bottom without adding any weight to it. Do you know what I mean? Remember what I was talking about earlier? And you see it looks nice and full at the bottom now. And you can see that there's no clip showing up here. It's completely clear. And in the back it's all nicely covered. And if you want to just bring your hair up again, just stick a comb in this little part here and just pull it up nice and gently. And that way you can add a little bit more volume if you want as well. All right guys, so there's the finished look and you can see that my hair is nice and volumized on the bottom and on the top. It really looks like I have thick hair right now. And I'd say if I didn't know myself, I would think that this was my natural hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to the Bombay Hair Channel if you want to see more videos from us. And if you have any questions, as always, you can email info at bombayhair.com and we'll be uploading more videos for you soon. Take care everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!